So here we have a function h of x, 4 plus 5x plus 2x cubed. And we need to write explicit equations for four different functions so that h of x is equal to four different ones. Now h of x was 4 plus 5x plus 2x cubed. And there's multiple answers that would be right for this question. For example, we could make, we want f of x plus g of x plus n of x plus m of x. We want four different functions equal to h of x. Can you see that if you made f of x equal to 4, g of x equal to 5x, n of x equal to 2x cubed, and m of x equal to 0, that if you added those all up, you would get exactly what you started with. Now, they almost never ask this question on an exam. They might ask it as a multiple choice. I can see that because then you'd have to choose which one actually works. Part of the reason why this, I find, is not a great question on an exam is because there's a very simple way of doing it. You could make, like this is one possibility. Could you see that you could make n of x x cubed and m of x x cubed, and then when they're added together, you would get 2x cubed as well. And the most simplistic way to do any adding and subtracting one is you take your first function and you make it exactly equal to h of x. And you make all the other ones 0. And it will work every single time as a shortcut. And there's not really much thinking involved. And it would be right. So unless they said where none of the functions are 0, then you have to make it up. But it's not too bad. So same thing for b. You can think of creative ways to make it subtracting. Or you could make f of x like this. And here, this would be the quickest and simplest way. Subtract 0, and you've got it. So there are some homework questions that ask this 7 8i and 8ii. So you can do it the simplistic way by making a bunch of them 0, or you can be creative, right? I could have made, for b, I could have made f of x equal to 5 plus 6x plus 3x cubed. And then g of x would have to subtract, have, I have to subtract, 1, and then I have to subtract an x, and I have to subtract an x squared. And that would still work, but uh, an x cubed. Thank you. And it would still work. 